you know, we should discuss about the the system calls a little more before we are ready to write the code. And so this one would be like the last video on theory and then we dive into the code. In fact, even in this one, we'll take a look at some code, although we won't write the code. All right. So uh, we were talking about system calls and this was a way for user space uh, to kind of talk to the kernel space. And uh, um, in the kernel space, then I mentioned that there are drivers and the drivers would need to implement this uh, these system calls. Now, what I want to specify very specifically is that the drivers typically implement uh, two types of system calls. Like the kernel also has like other code, the infra and the, you know, process management related code and all of that, which also implements a lot of, um, uh, or not implements, but it's dependent on a lot of uh, system calls, right? Um, so there are some system calls, for example, uh, fork uh, that can, you know, take the current process and create like a replica of that process. And that's process management related system call. Uh, but then the device drivers implement uh, system calls, which uh, relate to file operations right. so we talked about uh, you know read and write for example so uh, those system calls for example are file operations related and again what is the link between file operations and a device we'll come to uh, that like what is the different uh, diff or relation between hardware and file operations the other thing is the they kind of uh, implement hardware management related um, uh, related system calls for example the iocTL or input output control also called ioctals right all right so now let's spend some time on this and then you know um, we are good to go and write our first driver so it turns out that Linux uh, uh, typically treats everything, uh, as if it is a file right as if it is a slash b slash c so everything in linux is is a file and then on a file you can perform certain operations uh, like you know opening the file closing the file uh, reading the file writing the file uh, you know seeking into the file so on and so forth so it turns out all of the interactions that you might want to do with the hardware also kind of, uh, you know, fit this notion of open the hardware, read some content from the hardware, you know, write into that hardware if required. And then uh, kind of, you know, if um, depending on what kind of hardware it is, you can also do some sort of a seeking and, uh, you know, then we just close that hardware. So pretty much that's all. So what Linux does is Linux will map a hardware. It will expose it as if it was a file, right? And if it uh, exposes it as if it was a file, then we can do file operations on it. And so as you can now imagine, the drivers are going to implement uh, what to do when the hardware is being opened what to do when the hardware is being read, what to do when the hardware is to be written to, right? So all of those functionalities will be, uh, will the driver will need to implement those uh, as uh, these file operations related system calls, right? So that is one thing. And uh, now the other thing is that drivers, can be of majorly three types. One is called the character driver, the other one is called the block driver, and the third one is called the network driver. Right. So we are specifically going to take a look at character driver because once we know how to write these, uh, the character drivers, it becomes easy to write the block and the network drivers. Now what kind of drivers uh, you know, uh, are within the category of block? Well, file system related or, uh, or rather, you know, drive related, your hard disk and uh, solid state drive storage related, more appropriately. 
right? So storage related drivers are block drivers, for example. Then network drivers are the drivers that deal with Ethernet and so on. Uh, but we are going to look at the character drivers and somewhere we are saying that a driver or a device is exposed um, as a file. Right? So the interface for the user space to request the call to the kernel space is to do some operation on a file, right? So let's say, for example, we have, um, okay, uh, let's take an easy example. Let's say we have a UART, right? A UART is universal uh, asynchronous receive transmit module. You can send like a byte at a time to other computer and so on and so forth. Uh, pretty old, uh, you know, protocol, but still actively used. So let's say this um, uh, UART is reachable or the driver handling this UART responds to uh, reads and write onto the file called uh, TTYACM0, for example, right? So as the user code or user application attempts to read this file, the read on this usually triggers the read system call implemented by the device driver for UART. And within this then, uh, what will happen within this, it will have the functionality to go read some information from the UART and then pass it back to the user code. Right? So this is how we go from user code to kernel code uh, or kernel driver uh, by us via system calls and the system calls are triggered by doing read and write or by doing some operation on the files right so this is also very very key that a device driver is triggered by doing file operations on a file and that file is kind of representing access to that hardware right and now let me just quickly we'll get rid of this and what we have here on the screen is a file from the linux kernel which is the fs.h and uh, actually let me uh, you know go ahead and zoom this in right so oh wow okay uh, zoomed a little too much and let me go down here right so this file is called the fs.h and then on line number 199 we see these file operations and within that we have the seek the read write uh, you know iterative something read iterative write and then some polling some some poll here so on and so forth there's open here there is release here which is same as i think same as close and there is flush, so on and so forth. And all of these are operations that we can do on a file. Right. And as we'll see forward, um, the file operations is something that we'll need to kind of uh, implement while writing a driver. Right. So again, what, what the takeaway from this video should be that user space talks to kernel space using system calls and the device drivers implement uh, majorly two types of system calls one that relate to file operations and the other that relate to hardware access which is or hardware management which is io control or iocTL right all right so with this we pretty much have the imagination and the background we require to be able to dive into writing uh, a, a loadable kernel module and in the next section we'll start with our first loadable module.